Good day everyone, this is Herman again, and this time we're in Alaska, or well, on the outskirts of Alaska, out in the island somewhere, and uh, we're going to be flying the first leg for the uh, this Alaskan Balkan trip, and uh, is it Balkan? No, it is a bush trip, but uh, peninsula, Alaska Peninsula. This is the Alaskan Peninsula bush trip that we'll be flying right now and uh, looks like we have one that is about 19 minutes long according to this and uh, we'll be flying uh, a total trip of 741 nautical miles from Padu to Pakal <laughs> actually the airport codes but that's fine and uh, we are let me click this this is where we're going to be starting from. Let's, so let's go ahead. We are, we are in Unalaska and uh, we're going to be flying in uh, two, two uh, knots of wind with 270 degree uh, direction of the wind. There you go. Okay, let's hit the start from button. Okay, here we are at the airport. It looks like we're started right at the runway and uh, oh, nice looking plane. What kind of plane is this? The Crafter, the Cub Crafter X. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get inside the airplane, take a look around, and see what I need to know about this airplane. Okay, we're inside the airplane, and this is very new to me. Uh, hopefully, all this will stay where it's at. I have a feeling that this nav lock will disappear. A couple of uh, exercises down. A couple of trips. This is where we're at. We got the DUT or PADU is the uh, code name for this airport, which is uh, Humpy Cove. And uh, I'm not gonna read. Well, maybe I should. It says welcome to Aleutian Island, the starting point on your Grand Alaskan tour from the runway at. Unalaska Airport, take flight and head northeast across Dutch Harbor. As you pass around Mount Coxcomb, yeah, in the distance, Summer Bay Lake should come into view. Continue beyond the lake to the shorelines of Humpy Cove, just beyond it. Okay, and it's supposed to take about a minute and 42 seconds. I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at the Let's look at the uh, runway. Oh, another hard, hard paved runway. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Am I able to move back and forth here? Oh, yes. And uh, plenty, plenty. I can, I can get around. And this here is a nice little screen uh, dashboard let me see well gives me almost everything I need looks like um fuel is uh, I think that's not the fuel gauge where is the fuel gauge it is not the fuel this is a pressure per square inch fuel and it's low where's the fuel gauge fuel gauge where are you this is new to me, so bear with me until I figure out where the fuel gauge is. Hold it. And maybe it's like the other cub. Let me look up way up there, and there it is. There's the fuel gauge. It looks like it's full. Let's look on the other side. It appears to be full. Okay, let me get down again. Oops. Let's get down and hit the F button to straighten my camera out. Okay, let's see what I can do here. If I push this, no, it's just there's no pushing to this button, it's just turning. Okay, it zooms in for me, that's good. And I'll leave it like that. What does this do? 
departure and arrival. I don't think I'm able to activate it on any of those. Uh, I'm limited to what I can do here. Camera, basic controls, map lock, VFR map. And what about this? Oh, it's, that's it for that. Map lock and uh, basic controls and my camera. Alrighty. I'm gonna try this trip out. Let me go outside for a minute. Fuel gauge shows that that it is full right here. So far, so good. The trim is set at center. Let me double check something here. Full, full flaps. There you go. Bring the flute back. The flaps back up. Let me see what about this. Very good. Everything works the way it's supposed to. Let me get back inside the airplane. Cabin heat to pull. Well, we are in a place where you can get rid of mighty cold. So maybe that will help. Let me see if I can push this out and then, yes I can. I mean, you know, it's simulated, but it's nice to know it's there. <laughs> um, a dimmer, let me see this. Oh, it brightens up and brings it down. It's the awesome. A auxiliary dimmer. Let's see if I can push the button. Nope, there's no push into that button. There's a push into that button. Let me hit the heading. Set it to a heading of 123. It's all set up. Approach. I don't think I can use that. Okay, this is the uh, automatic pilot controls here. Let's see if I can change the heading. Yes, I can. Just press the center again. And decrease vertical speed. Down and up. Is that the trim? Let's go outside the airplane. I don't see the trim around the rear of the airplane. I, I said it's all the way down. Let's go all the way up. Well, actually all the way down because it's down and up. And I don't see the trim working. Let's get closer to the airplane and see where, the, where is it supposed to be. That's, I believe, is the trim. Let me try it again. functioning but I know as far as the simulator is concerned it works it's just not displaying that it can work unless I'm looking at the wrong place alrighty and let's see uh, here is the trim so what is this increased vertical speed I think I know what this is this is controlling my uh, descent and and ex and and also it also helps me with ascending and descending of the airplane uh, while it's in automatic pilot. Indicated airspeed. Don't know what VNV means and vertical speed. Let's find out what VNB means. I'm looking it up now. Vertical navigation. That's VNB. Vertical navigation. Okay, so it tells me to steady the airplane. I guess I press this and then I deal with this up and down. Okay. 
distance is 3.8 and the VRR1 what is this the nearest airport yeah there you go I'll leave that on now, how do I change this from VR1 to GPS no GPS Okay, I'm wasting too much time here. I'll find this out on my own later. Let's go ahead and start. And we're going to follow this all the way to my first destination. P-A-U-T. P-A-U-T. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start it up. Go up a little bit. And take off. Let me start the timer. Up we go. Let me see what I need to do here. Hold on a second. I forgot there's no map. Let's see if I can find that map. Until I get to understand these controls, I'm, I'll fly, uh, not use my automatic pilot. Where did it go? Where, where is it? around this way since this is the lower let me close this here this is the uh, lowest point of the terrain so I'll go around this way and then go that way okay my RPM is a little too high and where am I let me go outside Second, is where I'm at. Take the short, it looks beautiful out there. I just don't know where I'm at now. I'm supposed to go northeast, and I'm going southeast. Let me go ahead and turn left. here, that area, is this. Okay, now it makes more sense. I, I believe that island is this one here, and there's this mountain. Right here, I'm going to turn this on just to see how it looks like. Make it back into the airplane, and see if I can find that map. There it is. Let me see if I can. Found the map. <laughs> Alrighty. We're doing good. Let's see what uh, altitude. 4,000 feet. I'm good to go there. Uh, I'm going 
going too, too, too high and let me see if I can hit the where's the automatic pilot button that is it there and where's the altitude button Sure, I don't have it turned on yet. Level there. Altitude setup selection. Okay, let's go and fix that. Four thousand. And then I guess I hit this. on. Let's see if I'm ever correct. Well, the heading is not following. The airplane is not following the heading, that's for sure. Maybe it's because stinking but go straight this way so I gotta go over that way let me turn that way okay it's a little bit bouncy I guess this is supposed to light up some in some way when I turn on automatic pilot. If I could just stop. There you go. It says it's on. Oh, I hear heading. I think maybe now I got it. Yes, I do. Now the heading selector is following my uh, my airplane so actually the other way actually it's the other way around the airplane is following my heading selector okay that's done turn that on okay APR I think I understand all this now West heading. We're gonna go to the runway going east. We're gonna land on uh, eastern runway, and that should be like 90 or maybe 85, 90 degrees heading, something like that. We'll find out when we get there. Eventually, I get used to this airplane. RPM is so too high, it was turning red or flashing red here. Let's 
said 3,900. What is this? I mean, I'm trying to remember everything I'm supposed to be doing here. There you go. And then hit the... It's already on. Looks like it's uh, already set up for me to follow this here. Later on, I'll figure it, I'll figure it out. heat cabin heat this is for the engines heat he needs it and it's set, it's set to cold and this here is the cabin heat in case I'll get a little too cold inside the cabin <laughs> that's if I'm going to use it I don't think it works anyway master switch on oh that's to for the battery Turn alternator on and off. Left hand ignition and right hand ignition. Fuel pump. It's on the off position right now. So far, so good. Looks like the airport's right here. Only the only thing is, it's I can't see it on the map unless I go in. How do I? What I want to do is move the map here. Problem is, I don't know where to, where I go to get that information. Select the page. There's the airport that I'll be going to. Let me go to the right a little bit more. There. Still trying to get used to the, the controls here. get a crash course on YouTube on how to use all these instruments for my next flight. I thought it would be the same as the 172, but it's not. Close. Not completely the same. Or not exactly the same. What is this? AV Master Strobe Navic. Okay, these are lights. These are all lights. Probably be using that at, for nighttime flying. I think the airport is somewhere in there. I think that's here or that's here.
know most of this stuff yet, but I will. On my next plan, I should know how to total. I'll use all these controls here, and I should be good to go for the next flight. Because I know it's going to be more harder later. I got to know what's going on in this airplane. outside for a minute. Okay. It is a beautiful airplane. You guys want to see how you look like? There I am. And my companion in the back. Okay. Enough of that. It's Get inside. I think I see the airport. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, descend from here. Let's go down. Got a lot to learn on how to uh, use these instruments on the airplane, but that's okay, because I will be knowing what to do on my next flight. I'll go ahead and YouTube and find that airplane, and uh, hopefully whoever's going to be my instructor will teach me the right way. Let me turn this uh, map out. Okay, I'm pretty sure the airport is right there. A lot of green for Alaska, huh? Look at the snow top. Outstanding. What is this? Uh, flaps, okay. Okay, this is where I put all my stuff, my belongings, or whatever. And fuel is good. Storage compartment maxes maximum capacity is one pound. Not much for storage, huh? And what is this? Mike, AVR, vitamin squelch, power. LT Okay, let's go back. Alrighty, let me turn right. Fix the camera. stay at about 1,000 feet uh, once I get there. 
so far is 1,700 in uh, decline and descending. Okay, let me uh, put some RPM uh, to keep the plane uh, level to about 1,000 feet. The Alaskan bush trip, different and new to me. Islands. This island here and this one right here. I go up. You see it? See it? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll go around this this little rock and then continue easterly. Okay, let's turn around. Where is there? Oh, there it is. Let me go ahead and uh, there's the airport right there. And I don't want to go too. I want to keep my descending rate slow. Let me uh, stop here because I'm going a little too fast. So, uh, let me slow down next time. I I stop here, I just fall. Okay, come on. Okay, flaps. First flaps is down. I wonder how many flaps it is, this has. Second flaps. I think that's all I have is two flaps. Yeah, that's all I have. 500. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna park around here and call it done. Okay, I'm at idle and I'm ready to land right in the center if I can. Okay, let me go outside, bring the flaps back up. Whoa, I don't want to do that. I'm going too fast. I'm going to slow down, but I don't want to flip over. I just have to tell dragons to have this tendency of doing that. Let me, let me slow down some more. And then now I can turn around. Wow, this is hard to control on the ground. I know I can flip over. I've done it already. <laughs> Not on this flight, but uh, other flights. On another airplane. 
oh wow, look at that. I'm gonna go over the grass just because I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> here it goes. Alrighty. There's a fuel pump or a fuel station. I'll go there. Stop, stop, stop. This plane is powerful. I don't even have it full throttle and it, it wants to take off on me. This guy don't want me to leave. But I'm done. Wow, that's scary trying to control that, that airplane. I mean, on the ground. On the, on the air, I just have to learn how to use the instruments. Anyway, this is leg one of the bush trip. And uh, we'll go on to the next one uh, as soon as I figure out all these controls. See you then.